I'm in the Cairngorm National Park in Scotland right now and I just seek shelter between these pine trees out there. It's quite windy. I'm here to photograph the mountain here and I hope I can find them because they're quite well camouflaged in this totally white snow covered landscape. Let's get out there. I really really hope I can do some uh, vlogging because like the wind is very high and there's I don't know about the microphone and stuff but I think I just might give it a try So the hare is sitting just up there, maybe 10 meters ahead of me, and he is not scared at all. Just sitting there in shelter for the wind, and uh, I'm going to try to get the sneak a little closer. And uh, I will just look at his eyes, and when he starts to open the eyes, I know that he's aware of me, and then I stop. So. see but I'm trying to get as low as possible with a telephoto lens so that actually the foreground is between me and the hair that means that by going very low behind some of the snow I can or some of the heather I can make a blurry background so I try to get the foreground I try to get the foreground close to me so it becomes really unsharp and blurry and that kind of closes the bottom of the picture. So, you can see just in front of me there is a little heather and snow and then the hair is, is back there. And uh, just a second, yeah. I'm gonna try to get very low. Going where the heather is, I get the, a darker uh, foreground with a little pattern. By going to the left, you see there's more clear snow. Probably get turn the camera a little bit. Yeah, here. Get a more clean background. the white background with uh, the white foreground the snow because I'm in such a low position it's uh, giving more clean and if I go to the other one with the heather see I get this pattern instead
sitting about five meters from me now. And, uh, scraping with his paws the, to get to the roots or the plants he wants and uh, he has some really really good photos from here then I'm using the now I'm shooting on manual with the auto easy on that's my favorite in this kind of situation where the light changes a lot because there's some clouds sometimes when they the sun goes free from the clouds, the light gets more intense. So if I'm shooting 100% manual, I have to like adjust the exposure all the time. So also because that gives me 100% control over the exposure it means I do the aperture shutter speed and ISO but for now as long as the light changes I'm stick I will stick to I out to ISO So that was a really, really good experience with the hair. I um, starting to snow now a lot, and uh, it's time for me to go back down the mountain. I got really, really close to that hair, and it was like that was the closest I've ever been to any hair, and that was like a unique experience. I'm. Uh, so happy for finding this location in Scotland and I'm definitely coming back here but for now it's time to go back to the B&B and get the pictures loaded into the Lightroom and to see what I've actually got and uh, yeah this has been absolutely fantastic so let's go home Oh,